And the Jamaican Bar Association is not yet ready to comment on the official appointment of Brian Sykes as Chief Justice. The swearing-in took place at a ceremony this morning at King's House. TVJ's Krista Campbell was there. Clubs of speculation, criticisms, and even threats of legal action provided the backdrop. King's House, the venue, as Brian Patrick St. George Sykes was sworn in as the eighth Chief Justice in post independent Jamaica. It happened at 9 18 Thursday morning with government, judicial, and other officials looking on as witnesses. Of note, the attendance of Jacqueline Cummings, president of the Jamaica Bar Association, which threatened legal action amidst concerns surrounding Justice Sykes' acting appointment in early February. Judges had also held a meeting which disrupted court sittings island-wide, taking a stance against what was perceived to be the Prime Minister's attempts to interfere with judiciary independence. Ms. Cummins says she will not respond to Chief Justice Sykes' appointment until after she's updated her members on a meeting with Prime Minister Andrew Holness. But at Thursday's swearing-in ceremony, Prime Minister Holness again insisted, I have the highest respect and regard for the judiciary, and the executive I lead has no inclination whatsoever to undermine the independence of the judicial branch or even to trespass anywhere near the discretion of the judges. We are interested in a partnership to ensure the efficiency and accountability of the judiciary to the people. I think Justice Sachs has been universally recognized as a good choice for the position of Chief Justice. We supported his appointment from as far back as January when the Prime Minister first spoke to me. And quite frankly, I think that he should have been confirmed in the post from day one. It was an untidy situation that needn't have arisen. But thankfully, all is now straightened out. I know Mr. Sykes for the last 30 years. He's a workaholic. He's a disciplinarian. And all the disquiet was really in the minds of the persons who felt the disquiet. He was getting on with the job. With the greatest respect to the media, to my mind, it was more a media creation. But in actual reality, business will go on today. I'm confident that the Honorable Justice Brian Sykes will discharge his functions with honor, integrity, and distinction. I'm confident that under his leadership, there will be a transformation of Jamaica's justice system. I wish to thank God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for elevating me by way of the decisions of men to this position of trust and leadership. And as for the public disquiet surrounding the Chief Justice's acting appointment to begin with, opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips says it is a teachable moment. It's important to pay attention, not only to the laws as written, but to the spirit of the laws and to the behavior of learned men and women who have come before. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.